right chair professor here you know it truly saddens me that i have to read about some horror story daily right whether it's uh happening in a ride share car uber lyft or in this case a taxi driver the bottom line is we're all drivers we're all out there trying to make money the companies that we get the cars from or lease the cars from or work for should keep us safe and it really breaks my heart to hear that a suspect you know that a suspect arrested in a brutal stabbing of taxi driver in downtown LA this this story saddens me right and this um, thug here in the background police late Sunday announced the arrest of a man they say stabbed a taxi driver to death in a brutal attack in downtown Los Angeles over the weekend. Um, all drivers should rally together. All drivers should keep on pushing for safety. Um, I also want to be seen as a voice for taxi drivers. I care equally. You all drivers, we're all humans. And we, you know, we owe that. That's the minimum these companies owes us is to keep us safe, right? And, and work on anything and everything whether it's technology whatever they can come up with whatever they can spend money on to keep individuals safe this should not happen now this is a topic that's been discussed many times right happens again and again stabbing after stabbing strangling assault death rape you name it right but even the driver can be aware of certain things you know i don't know where this guy positioned himself but looking at the picture he was literally right behind uh the uh, the passenger was right behind the driver this guy here right they caught him very quickly by the way they said friday 6 p.m stabbing in the parking lot of a burger king at caesar east chavez and grand avenues i've, I've been there i know that place claimed the life of 68 year old Oganis Papayazan, Papazian of Burbank, according to Los Angeles Police Department and Los Angeles County coroner's officials. But detectives gathered clues, including photos of the suspect from the crime scene. Police said they soon identified 32-year-old Victor Daniel Torres of Los Angeles as a suspect in Papazian's killing. Officers spotted a man resembling the suspect Sunday in the 500 block of North Main Street, about a half a mile away from the scene of the fatal stabbing. The Los Angeles Police Department said in a written statement he was taken to a police station for questioning. Based upon the totality of the evidence and investigation, Torres was booked for murder. You know, they said, try to steal the car, common thing. He tried to flee. Um, what, what basically, why wasn't he able to, um, steal the vehicle? I basically think they have like a little security, um, device, right? I think it's a fob or whatever they call it. Um, yeah, when the suspect was unable to locate the key fob, he exited and fled on foot, right? So wasn't able to steal the vehicle and then he took off on foot. So great job by the police and the detectives in LA in getting this guy within 24 hours. But um, the, sad st the sad thing remains the driver is dead. And um, taxi drivers, rideshare drivers should continue pressuring the companies to do everything and anything to keep them safe. My heart goes out to their family. The rideshare community sends you love and light. And um, please be <clears throat> aware of your surroundings. If anything feels off, if anything in your solar plexus or your gut tells you, nah, this, this is not right. Or please, could you sit on that side of me? I have a camera. Um, safety comes first, right? And see how they react. Do not like the fact that I'm in... I cannot see the individual right behind me. It's happened before. I've had a guy hit me on the back. I just hit the brake so hard that he fell forward, obviously hit the headrest, right? And then before he could even know what was going on, I was outside the car, 
right? Um, basically telling the guy to get out, right? You don't know what happens at that, you know, he might be just tapping me on my back and asking for directions, but he, he was actually hitting me on my back, trying to, I don't know what he was trying to do, but like that to me, in my senses said that could be an attack, slammed the brake, fell, he fell forward. I was anticipating the, the brake because obviously I made the brake, held the steering wheel, got out, and this guy was in shock. And I said, get out. And he's like, what, what's your problem? And I said, dude, you were hitting me on the back while I'm driving, right? Get out. The, the, the trip has ended. I'll call the cops, you know, truly not knowing what could have happened next. Now, I was lucky. You know, no gun, no knife, no nothing on him. But things can go horribly wrong. So we always have to have to be on the alert. Um, I'm always open. I always welcome any suggestions from taxi drivers, from ride share drivers, from limousine drivers. What can be done, folks, to keep us safer? Please come up with good stuff. Please share what you do to keep yourself safe. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for subscribing and have a wonderful week.